the network. To touch upon is, you know, what ice can do right now in this period. We, we know we put out a few tips on yourself and Corey in the newsletter. Just wondered what your main thoughts were and what the most important things to focus on are right now. Right. Well, number one, my primary thing that I must say is actually do not get caught up in these opportunistic ideas of, hey, this market is doing this, this market is doing that. You need mm -hmm. to invest over here. Don't split up the money that you probably barely had to go towards your career into these things that you really don't know about. It looks good. It looks like it's cheap or yeah. you should get in now. People are saying this. People are marketing to you so they can take their money. The experts will win. You who know nothing and should have been studying five to 10 years before this moment in whatever that industry is will be a loser outside of being lucky, which is something that you can't plan for. So yeah. one, heads down, continue to move forward and grow and, and focus on how you can win and gain through what you're already working on. In this case, we hope, and we hope that it's art, right? Um, your music. And if you started running campaigns, like there is opportunity when we talk about Facebook and YouTube having you know, um, a lower cost because every, in certain aspects and depending on what your targeting looks like, that's a very real thing. But again, although you don't have to have as long as a start in terms of learning the industry, like you would have to go learn those other spaces, you still need to be going through your process of I'm going to run this ad, test this ad, optimize it. And then I can say, yo, let me go crazy and take advantage of, um, you know, lower cost of, of advertising because you don't want to scale a bad ad still that's cheap, but no, exactly. incorrectly targeted. So those are my like primary things to focus on is more like philosophical and, and mentality wise. That's first and foremost. Of course, we talk about some other things in the newsletter as well. Yeah, I'll just say take this time to sort of, you know, educate yourself a bit more rather than, you know, jumping straight into these things. Obviously, it's so tempting, you know, now you've got this time, but you also have got this time now to learn certain areas of marketing that have interested you before in the past you haven't deep dived into necessarily. Right. And obviously there's plenty of material out there, plenty of courses, plenty of videos like this one. Um, but yeah, just take, just take some time. And also you need, you need to start that balance as well of also taking some relaxation time and also reassessing your most important goals in, in life as well, um, where you're at now. And obviously financially is also a very important time. And, and there is plenty of support out there as well. There's plenty of, support groups out there and plenty of like networking groups and also quite a lot of like um COVID-19 relief funds for in the music industry if you have you've been touring a lot recently or your tours have been cancelled you know you can apply for help there's plenty of information out there to help you with that yeah that's dope that's dope definitely take advantage of those types of programs you've got one in the newsletter from um, music cares and also I put a few links as well into other, other sites as well, other funds that are also giving out financial support if you're eligible. So definitely look into that. And obviously a lot of people right now obviously jumping on, you know, live streams. Um, see, obviously it's, it goes about saying, you know, you can, you can reach new audiences now and you can form for your, you can nurture your current fans, you know, nurture those relationships and have, have a bit of fun with it. Basically, you know, be, be creative. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, to figure out how to do that for you. Try to get more creative than just going live. You can do the regular lives, but I urge yeah. artists, please be artsy, creative still, please be creative and figure out what to do deeper than just what everybody else is doing. How can you make your life an experience? Yeah, totally, totally agree with that. Because obviously it's such a congested market with that right now. It's just how can you stand out what can you do in obviously within obviously you know uh, limitations inspire creativity you know and inspiration so you know you may be stuck in your apartment but you have the opportunity to you know what what you can make you can make music you know with, with, with sounds and, and think utilities like in your house so you can be you can make use of the space and you know just and have fun with it most importantly that's what people want to see some some joy at the moment really in this time that's what they're looking for 100 percent so. 100%. And obviously, it's a good time to write music as well right now. You know, no yeah. little distractions. So. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go in the studio, but you can certainly write. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know some people who are doing collabs over Zoom, so that's also a thing yeah. to consider. Also, I've been seeing a lot. I know the irony is that time is always the biggest enemy for mm. you know for artists, and yet suddenly yeah. you're presented with all this time to really like sort of like reevaluate and focus that's on certain things you were wanting to do. So you've always been, you've yeah. always wanted to get on TikTok, or you've always wanted to learn a particular instrument. You know, now is a good time as any to do that. But at the same time, you do need to you know, be able, to, be able to live. And that's the problem in the moment of a lot of musicians. That statement about TikTok, man, not just the artists though, that's everybody. So I think like, so TikTok is like seeing a, a rise in this period because there's been this time, time where TikTok has been marketed and branded to people for a while now. And they've started to see it on Instagram popping up, but it's just this app. This is, it's, it takes, it's a barrier, right? To convert to something and change your behavior especially when you're in your normal pattern, don't have time to really get into something like that. Now that time is there and people yeah. are going to ha going ahead and creating their first TikToks. A lot of their first TikToks are actually coronavirus <laughs> related TikToks because yeah. there were some challenges that have been popping, but it's been interesting to see that rise to your point, even with artists now having time to create, there's having, there's a lot of time for people to, act on not just watching certain videos, but actually act on joining platforms or other things that they didn't have the time to do so with before. It's important to say that music streaming is down and video consumption is up. So that is where you should be turning your attention to right now. Obviously it's say not down again? drastic. Music streaming is down in terms of like, you know, the rates, but video consumption is on the up. It's not drastically why, fallen. Why do, you, why do you think that is? Well, I think a lot of people um, listen to music on their commutes and also we're not getting that anymore. Yep. Think, all, think of all the workers who, who do that. And at the same time, obviously, you're at home. You never used to get the opportunity to watch videos while you're at work normally. But now I've seen a lot of people have been had YouTube on in the background or have had Netflix on <laughs> or, or, got, or on TikTok. Yeah. That's exactly my theory, man. Outside of also the clubs and events and things of that nature, yeah. where music gets played, just the fact that so much of it gets played while people are at work. And now, hey, since my boss isn't over my shoulder, I could turn on a full blown video like that. <laughs> that yeah, that exactly. part has, has helped Netflix out more than it's helped Spotify. And also on the, um, on the music streaming platform, like front, obviously, people are looking to cut costs now, like so especially businesses and, you know, mm. music subscriptions can be one of the first things that goes because it's not essential. It can be one of the first things they cut out. Right. It's not essential, but Netflix is. I mean, I'm not like from a business point of view. Uh, they're going to cut. Yeah. They're okay. going to, yeah. I mean, from, from, from people's point of view, it's probably not, but yeah, from obviously going to lose a lot of, a lot of uh, subscriptions and, you know, and business from that. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking about that the other day. I wonder what those numbers look like. It'll be cool to maybe check out on some of those numbers before we meet up next time. Yeah, because I, I was saying, I saw today that globally streaming is actually up again, but in the US it's been falling every week for the past like three weeks. Interesting. Oh, yeah, I have no thoughts or like even <laughs> idea on where to start why the US versus other places are having that pattern. Got, but, got to do some deep diving yeah exactly but going back to tiktok yeah i'll see a lot of, they're getting way 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 more downloads now and a lot more celebrities have been joining in the past couple of weeks and that's what that's where all the attention is right now yeah hey man a, a conspiracy theorist would say tiktok started this right they have china ties. yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> There's a few, yeah, there's a few um, theories. Like there's one as well. Disney Plus just launched in Europe a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's another good one. Yeah. Oh man, that's hilarious. <laughs> uh. It's the network.